is Mr. Kaufman from High Five History with an instructional video going over how to paraphrase and use direct quotes in your argumentative writing. So we know that when we're writing arguments or creating arguments, we always need to support our ideas with actual evidence, right? Something we can read, touch, look at that proves our case, right? Historians are lawyers of the past, and lawyers right, need to prove their cases and build their cases on hard evidence. So let's take a look at two ways to use it by paraphrasing and direct quotes. So first thing, paraphrasing right, is when you reword something that was written or spoken. And we use paraphrasing right, in essays to use or borrow the ideas of someone else, but to say it in our own words. Now this must be cited because again we're taking someone else's ideas and just rewording them into our own work. We're not creating new ideas, and therefore it needs to be cited. Direct quotes are when you use the exact words that were said or written by someone else. And again, we use direct quotes to support our arguments by the words or the evidence or by the words of someone else. And yes, this also needs to be cited. It's important to know that direct quotes typically should be on the shorter end. Um, you want to take just parts of passages or use passages that are small. Um, if it's something that's very large, again, paraphrasing might be the better way to go. Now, what does it look like? Um, I have an example here, and we're going to name it Document 1. And a little background on this is this quote was taken from Mr. Kaufman when asked about how much homework students should get. Um, so the quote is, students need to practice the skills they learn in school, and homework is a good time to do so. However, students also need to explore their own interests, play, and have free time. So if you were going to use this quote to answer the question, should students spend time doing homework, here's how you could do it by paraphrasing, again, my words from document one. Paraphrase might sound something like this. Yes, students should have some homework. According to Mr. Kaufman, seventh grade social studies teacher, students should spend some time doing homework, but should also have time to themselves. And there at the end is my parenthetical citation, Kaufman, comma, doc, one. So you can see here I use the ideas from my source, but I put them into my own words. That's a paraphrase. Now let's take the same example and use a direct quote. Yes, students should have some homework. Students should spend some time doing homework, but also, quote, need to explore their own interests, play, and have free time. A in parentheses, Kaufman, doc, one. So I'm answering the question the same way, but this time I'm using the exact words from my source, right? making it a direct quote. So there you have it, two examples of how to take a source or written piece of work from someone and to either paraphrase it or direct quote it to help support your argument. Note and remember that both do need to be cited. By right? paraphrasing, putting in your own words does not make it your idea you still need to give credit to the author. That's it for Mr. Kaufman from High Five History.